Hi Lana, hello and welcome once again to Lana's Coach. Now, today we want to take a look at some of the aggregated uh, engineering courses that you can always pursue uh, here in Kenya. Now, do you know that you only have 48 accredited engineering courses uh, here in Kenya? And out of those particular 48 courses, they are offered within 10 universities. And that's why we want to take a look at the top 10 universities that offers accredited engineering courses uh, here in Kenya. So for those of us who want to pursue any engineering course, you need to be very, very, uh, on the, you need to be uh, very keen and you need to be also on the lookout of the courses that you actually register uh, to pursue and where do you take them, from which universities. Of course, there are different levels. We have postgraduate, we have, uh, of course, the graduate and diploma level. Uh, engineering courses that you can always pursue. So let's maybe uh, just uh, uh, take a walk and understand all these 10 universities that you can always uh, pursue these particular engineering courses. Remember, there are 48 at the time of recording this particular uh, video. So number one, uh, the one that tops the list is actually University of Nairobi. So I've actually uh, proceeded to their website and you can see here, um, within the Department of or Faculty of Engineering uh, from the University of Nairobi. And you can see uh, they offer quite a number of undergraduate uh, programs in, the, uh, in engineering. So they have uh, a Bachelor of Science, Biosystems Engineer. You can see they also offer Civil Engineering. They have Electrical and Electronic Engineer. They have Mechanical Engineer, Petroleum Engineer, Geospatial Engineer. So those are the undergraduate uh, accredited engineering courses that are offered by the University of Nairobi. They also offer master's programs and I have to say that they are the only uh, maybe university so far that has a number of master's programs uh, that actually you can pursue when you want to take any engineering course. So they offer a master in uh, of science in environmental and biosystems engineer. They also offer Master of Civil Engineer, Master of Science in Civil Engineering, uh, Electrical and electro Electronics Engineer, Nuclear Science and Technology, uh, Mechanical Engineer, Energy Management, ge Geographical Information Systems, right? So these are just but within. Uh, remember, this uh, is a faculty that is combined with the technology, but ideally uh, they offer a variety of engineering courses right and of course they also offer the phd programs in the same engineering courses you can see biosystems engineer degree in civil engineering electrical and electronic engineer uh, that's why i think um, it earns the first position ideally because it offers right uh, from the undergraduate all the way to postgraduate uh, degrees within the engineering domain. So yes, uh, University of Nairobi should be <laughs> number one uh, when you're looking at or pursuing these particular engineering courses, right? So take note. Uh, the other one that closely follows the University of Nairobi is JQUAT, uh, Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, right? Uh, they also offer a wide variety of engineering courses that are accredited by the engineers board of Kenya, right? So I know there are those uh, universities outside there that actually offers these particular programs, but they are not accredited. So you have to be on the lookout because if you can enroll on the, uh, in, into those particular programs, then later on your, the, your certificate is not going to be recognized. So you have to just pay attention and uh, see the kind of universities and the courses that they offer, right? So JQuart, you can see the list. I've just gone all the way to the application form, right? So you can see uh, they offer like six engineering courses. They have electrical and electronics engineer. They have electronic and computer engineer, telecommunication and information engineer, a civil engineer. And of course they have mechanical engineer, marine engineer, uh, mining and mineral processing engineering. I hope you, you, you are going through uh, this particular table, right? And of course, they have agricultural and biosystems engineer, right? 
The others are just programs. So those are the core engineering uh, programs that they offer, right? That, those are undergraduate. So for the postgraduate, I think they are not yet there, right? So if you want to do postgraduate in, the, in this particular engineering courses, you have to revert to University of Nairobi. So the, we have seen masters and PhDs, right? So that is JQuat. Uh, number three in our list is Egerton. Now Egerton has been there. Egerton University has been there for a while. So it also offers some kind of engineering courses, though there are few. As you can see, there are only four, right? These ones are the ones that are accredited by the Engineers Board of Kenya. Right, so they they were initially offering agricultural engineer, and they have added three more. So they are offering also civil and environment engineer, industrial energy, and of course electrical and control engineer. Right, so yes, uh, those are the kind of engineering courses that you can pursue uh, from Egerton University. Uh, then we have uh, we have uh, Moy University, right? I remember, I've just uh, dived direct to the uh, engineers department within this particular uh, universities, right? So you can see undergraduate, you can see here, currently the school offers only six undergraduate programs fully accredited by engineers board of Kenya. You have to take note of that, right? And commission for university education. And they offer seven master's programs and three PhD programs, right? So yes, they are, I think they are following closely uh, behind University of Nairobi in terms of the number of engineering courses that they are offering, right? So you can see, these are the undergraduate engineering programs, chemical processing, civil and structural engineers, electrical and electronics, you can see them, the list is long. So those six undergraduate programs are the accredited ones and of course you have the postgraduate and you can see postgraduate are even more because they offer phd in materials and textile engineer uh, they also have energy studies they have chemical engineers and so on uh, that is inclusive of the phd right so amoy university is another accredited university that offers these particular engineering courses, right? Then we have Multimedia University, right? Multimedia University also has some engineering courses, right? But there are few, right? There are few. If you look at their website, the programs uh, within this particular uh, school or faculty, you can see they only have two masters or postgraduate engineering courses. That is. Um, they offer masters in communication and multimedia engineer and they have master of science right in mechanical engineer and for the undergraduate you can see they also have electrical and telecommunications engineer they also have a mechanical and manufacturing engineer and of course they have civil engineer a uh, better still they also offer diploma uh, engineering courses as you can see mechanical engineer diploma Diploma in Electrical and Telecommunications Engineer, right? So yes, and what I've discovered is that uh, the accredited institutions have been there for a while. Uh, remember, Multimedia University was formerly uh, the Kenya Communications College, KCCT, right? So it was upgraded to a university. So it has also been here for a while, and that's why it is offering these accredited uh, engineering uh, courses. So if you're interested uh, to join them, uh, you can always uh, proceed to their website and apply. And of course, we have Technical University, another uh, college that has been there, but it was upgraded to university, right? So if you go to the faculties of schools, right here, you can see, under the Faculty of Engineering, you can see we have their offerings, uh, Electrical and electro Electronic Engineer. They also have mechanical and manufacturing engineer and of course they have civil and resource engineering so i think here they offer only three uh, which is good right uh the sister the sister university that is uh, the technical university of mombasa right you know it right tomb also offers some kind of 
uh, courses, journaling courses. So if you look at uh, the website, you can see they offer only five uh, engineering courses, right? Remember these are all accredited. So medical engineering, uh, mechanical and automotive engineer, engineering, electrical and el electronic engineer, building and civil engineering, architecture and built environment. Uh, I know that so far the technical university actually is best known uh, for the building and civil engineering, right? So yes, this is the sister <laughs> university or brother university to the technical university of Kenya. Uh, this is the Mombasa uh, branch, right? So you can also look at this particular engineering courses within the Technical University of Mombasa, right? Uh, the other accredited university is KU, Kenyatta University, as you can see. It has different departments, but you are interested in the engineering, as you can see. So, School of Engineering and Architecture, you can see the list of uh, uh, the available engineering uh, department or other programs as you can see energy engineering civil engineering uh, you can even count them one two three four five Th so they also offer five accredited engineering courses right so mechanical engineering and so on so you can also register from uh, Kenyatta University to pursue this particular uh, engineering courses right uh, the other university is actually University of Eldoret I know <laughs> you're wondering how Right, so University of Eldoret also is accredited to offer some kind of engineering courses, like you can see, one, two, three, they offer three engineering courses, right? Uh, that is agricultural and biosystems engineering, civil and structural engineering, uh, mechanical and production engineering, right? So yes, uh, that is the University of Eldoret. And if, if you are keen enough, you can see that uh, they are still in the process of uh, offering uh, postgraduate, right? They are not offering uh, postgraduate uh, engineering courses as for now, right? So yes, uh, Lana, if you are there and you feel that this particular information is useful, uh, kindly take a minute or two uh, to subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to click on that particular uh, notification uh, bell. Now, uh, the other university is actually the Dedan Kimathi University of Technology, right? So this is another accredited university that offers these engineering courses, right? As you can see, it offers mechanical engineering, mechatronic engineer, which is really rare in most of these universities. And of course, electrical and electronic engineering, civil engineering, tech, uh, and mechanical engineering, right? So those are the main engineering courses that they offer. And they actually uh, bring to the end of the top 10 uh, universities that offer accredited engineering courses by the, uh, by the Engineers Board of Kenya. So you, you have a choice to either apply those particular engineering courses from the mentioned institutions <laughs> or you can try other institutions. But bottom line, uh, you have to get an accredited certificate from accredited uh, university. I know someone is wondering, how comes I've not maybe listed uh, other universities or institutions? Like now, let's say, uh, let's take a look at an example. Uh, the JUST, right? This is uh, Jaramogi Oginga Odinga University, right? Now, the reason as to why I have not mentioned such kind of uh, university is not that they are not offering, but as you can see, right, uh, they are still under, uh, they are being developed. Like you can see here, the following academic programs are being developed. Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, Bachelor of Agriculture, and so on. So, yes, they are yet to meet the required standards of offering these particular engineering courses, right? But as you can see, they are St they have started from the diploma level. So with the time, as time goes by, they'll start offering undergraduate programs, and of course, they'll offer postgraduate 
uh, degrees, right? So yes, uh, that is it from the learner's coach, and thanks.